with some breaking news in the disappearance of a local college student. According to Erie County District Attorney John Flynn, it appears Sanaya Dennis took her own life. Now we want to let you know that normally we don't cover suicides, but this is different. This case has gotten so much attention here in Western New York and across the country. We feel we owe you this important update. So the number, if you need help to get it, is up on your screen right now. And two on your side's Karis Belger is at the DA's office. Karis, this news conference was quite emotional this morning. Let us know what happened. Now, good morning, Kelly. We just heard from the district attorney a little under an hour ago. Want to emphasize we would normally not report on the nature of this case. We are only doing so because of how much public interest there was in the search for Sanaya. DA Flynn did give us a timeline of the events as he believed they were based on evidence from multiple law enforcement agencies. He said earlier in the day on April 24th, Sanaya got into an argument on the phone with her boyfriend. He was in the New York City area. He was there the entire time these events took place and he is not believed to be a suspect. Um, after repeatedly trying to contact the boyfriend, after they apparently broke up on that phone call, Sanaya did send him messages, and she expressed some things along the lines of wanting to take her own life. Sanaya later contacted another friend, also in the New York City area, and, and said some similar things. According to DA Flynn, that friend stayed on the phone with her for quite some time, hours, I am told, and later believed that she was okay after she had told him so. Now, later that evening, evening, the DA says Sanaya threw away some personal art items in the garbage. DA Flynn would not go into detail about what those items were. He only said it indicated that she was not going to be returning to her dorm based on what she threw away. In the early hours of April 25th, Sanaya was seen on Goat Island by Park Police cameras, and this is the last time we know she was seen on camera. Flynn also said a selfie was taken on Snapchat by Sanaya by the uh, Nikola Tesla Monument, and after that, her phone went offline, indicating that it had been damaged in some way. And the DA also mentioned all of this information was given to Sanaya's parents yesterday afternoon. This is what he told us um, during the update. I said to the parents, all I can do is be honest with you. I respect you. I'm not going to sugarcoat this at all. I'm going to tell you the God's honest truth of what I have. And this is what I have. And I'm doing the same thing with the public and with you right now. As I mentioned before, uh, Kelly, we would normally not report on this. We are only doing so because of the nature of what happened and the interest of in Sanaya's case. I want to quickly, before I wrap, give the number for crisis services for anyone who needs it. That number is 716-834-3131. Reporting in Buffalo, I am Karis Belger, sending it back to you, Kelly.